As Father said, today we celebrate the solemnity, the memorial of Saints Peter and Paul. I know the answer. I remember it from, I'm guessing, 55 years ago. It was before Vatican II, and it come from the Baltimore Catechism. I remember it. It's not exactly as it says here, but it means the same thing. Jesus said to Peter, Thou art Peter, and upon this rock I will build my church. I give to you the keys to the kingdom of heaven. Whatever you do, whatsoever you bound on earth shall be bound in heaven, and whatsoever you loosed on earth shall be loosed in heaven. That's the answer. But be honest, I don't remember the exact question. But it has to do with the Catholic Church, with Peter, the first pope, receiving the keys to the kingdom of heaven. I believe many of you might remember the Baltimore Catechism. It was simple question and answer. And somewhere I've still got that Baltimore Catechism, but I could not find it. I, I was looking and I tried to find the question. I even talked to my mom the other day, whatever happened to that Baltimore Catechism? She gave it to me from when I was a little kid. And I was so proud of myself, I thought, this is really something. I can remember this whole group of verses. And I was probably second, third, maybe the fourth grade at the most. But the point is, now that I look back, I remembered the answer. I can't remember the question. But as Catholics, through those verses, we define Peter as the first pope, the visible leader of our church. And with St. Paul, we look at the second reading Paul, apostle of the Gentiles, he knew he was at the end of his life. And the second reading goes, I, Paul, am already pouring, being poured out like a libation. In other words, once he realized who Jesus was, he offered his whole life for Christianity, for spreading the word. He's known as the apostle to the Gentiles, through which I would say most, if not all of us, come from. We are descendants of Gentiles rather than Jews. There may be some Jewish uh, uh, bloodline in us, but either way, we are Christian. Like I said, I remember the answer, but I do not remember the exact question. But the important question to we as Catholics, to the world of Christianity, it's a question we do not, rem we do not memorize from years ago. It is a question we ask ourselves, we should ask ourselves every day. The question Jesus asked his apostles. Who do you say that I am? Every day our answer should grow, should change, and it not, should not come necessarily from our head, what we remember. The answer, Jesus asks us, who do you say that I am? And the answer comes deep within our being, deep within our heart. The answer shows us how to love. It gives us the meaning of love. It gives us the meaning of who we are deep within ourselves. Who do you say that I am? You're Jesus. You're one of us. You come to be one of us in human form, in suffering, in dying. 
We have many questions, just as Peter and Paul had. How do we avoid the COVID? How do we make a living in this world when so many people are being unemployed? How do we treat our neighbors? How do we love those closest to us? But the question is, from Jesus, who do you say that I am? And the answer lies deep within us. Who is Jesus to you?